Latest satellite imagery confirms that even six months after Indian missile strikes, Pakistan is still unable to operationalize its Jakobabad air base. Newly surfaced imagery and satellite analysis indicates that China has begun construction on its fourth next-generation aircraft carrier. Russia has established a new branch of its military, called the Unmanned Systems Forces, dedicated to overseeing the production operation and testing of uncrewed platforms, as well as developing their tactics and techniques. Maharashtra-based Lloyds Engineering Works has partnered with Poland's Fly Focus to jointly develop a new class of drones equipped with advanced electronic surveillance capabilities. Indian Navy will host the Suave Lamban 2025 on 25 November in New Delhi, bringing together innovator startups industry and the armed forces. Azerbaijan has publicly unveiled its new Chinese-made HQ-9BE long-range air defense system during its victory parade. Indian intelligence agencies are monitoring a secret transfer of technology deal between a European drone maker and Pakistan, a move that could enable Pakistan to locally build advanced male-class UAVs. A government commission reorganization study for Hindustan Aeronautics Limited will be completed by March 2026 to streamline platform delivery and improve responsiveness to customer requirements. An Indian Air Force contingent featuring the Surya Kiran aerobatic team and Tejas fighter jets have arrived at the Al Maktoum Air Base for the Dubai Air Show 2025. New imagery shows that Azerbaijan has received nine JF-17 Block III fighter jets that were diverted from Pakistan Air Force production slots. Adani Defense has showcased its new SR-1 fixed-wing loitering munition and the VTOL-5 anti-armor FPV drone with fiber optic spool guidance at the Bangkok Defense and Security 2025. India and Germany have opened discussions to lift the 13-year ban on Germany's largest arms manufacturer Rheinmetall, as India pushes defense indigenization and seeks stronger strategic and industrial ties with Berlin. With the German firm MTU ending support for the KA-501 engine of the Arjun tank, the RDO's Combat Vehicles Research and Development Establishment has teamed up with Tato Advanced Systems and l and Defense to reverse engineer and localize 80% of the engine ecosystem. The 1,200 crore rupees program uses 3D scanning and additive manufacturing with 95% metallurgical accuracy, and engine trials in Avadi have already matched them to use stock and RPM profiles. The DRDO has launched early research into next-generation fighter technologies that go beyond the AMCA program, including wing morphing structures, self-healing nano-coating stealth materials, and fly-by-light fiber optic control systems. The shift to fiber optic lines is expected to reduce aircraft weight by nearly 500 kg, while delivering ultra-fast electromagnetic interference-proof control inputs, a critical requirement as future battlefields evolve toward directed energy weapons hypersonic threats and complex electronic warfare environments. With ATAG's deliveries beginning in early 2027, Bharat Forge and Tato Advanced Systems Limited have urged the Ministry of Defense to expand procurement beyond the initial 307 guns. The current 6,900 crore rupees order covers only 184 guns for Kalyani and 123 for Tato Advanced Systems, that barely meets the needs of two regiments and larger follow-on orders after 2027 would stabilize production, cut costs by up to 25%, and help meet 70% indigenization goals. Today's Top 3 Comments